ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the RK Tokens podcast. We are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am Patrick Cloud. And today is the day that we talk about something interesting. Well, I guess we talk about something interesting every day. Yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so. Uh, shout out to uh, Zordon in the back, aka Kadeem, aka Cathadius, aka the tech guy for being here with us. Uh, we want to jump into level one immediately. We are very excited about today's topic. Uh, Pat, you seemed very epic about this topic. Would you like to bring us in on it? Yes, I would. Thank you, Will. Uh, level one is going to be ensemble video game characters that we des feel deserves a spinoff. So any character in a video game that's in a dope ensemble that never really had his own game. And if he has had his own game, you, you know, reimagine it the way you want it. Um, mine was, uh, I have a couple actually, uh, but the bigger one that I had would be sort of like a super Lakito uh, game and if you don't know who Lakito is, uh, he's one of my favorite characters from Super Mario. He's actually the uh, he looks like he's kind of like a turtle. Um, he doesn't look like the other turtles, so he's not like a Koopa, but he's some type of turtle that flies around in a cloud. Obviously, that's very on brand with me. But what I loved about him was he was kind of the strongest evidence on that theory that Super Mario is just an actor in all of his game uh, games because. In Super Mario 64, he literally was the cameraman. If you move the camera uh, around, you would literally see Lakito following him with like a, a camera on a fishing uh, fish, fishing rod, which kind of implies that he's sort of like producing all of it <laughs> in, in some type of way. And he's kind of like the dude on the sidelines with the, the, uh, the, um, the checkered flag and Mario Kart. Like he's very, very involved behind the scenes. So I think that if you just leaned into that fan theory of Mario and that whole world being actors and all every game is a production, I think it would be super dope to have a game where you're pretty much Lakito. You can either walk or jump in your cloud to fly. And you were pretty much, you had like a schedule. Like you were like, all right, today I'm, <laughs> today I'm shooting uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, tomorrow, I, Tuesday, I'm shooting Don with Donkey Kong. <laughs> Then I got to go shoot Mario Kart on Wednesday. You know what I mean? I got to go over to Hyrule. And <laughs> Pat and wants Super today. Mario producer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wants. Yep. I, I got to shoot with Link over, you know, I got to fly to Hyrule and shoot <laughs> shoot with Link. <laughs> I got to dump the footage off. <laughs> <laughs> right? You literally had to go um, either run or fly on set with these people. You see, you see Mario in his trailer going over his lines and stuff like that. Bowser's walking around with a robe and stuff like that. So you get to do like that side of it, but then it goes into the game and you're literally trying to like catch, like you're, you're, you're not playing the game, but you're seeing Mario do all these amazing stuff and you have to like follow along and stuff. And then the ba Bowser's coming, but you're like, cause it's, it's dope when you see like a skate skating video or like some extreme video and then they back up and they see, you see what the cameraman is doing. Like, you're like, damn, he has more skill. He's skating and getting these shots. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's so dope. It would be so dope if you had to like, you're in a castle with lava everywhere. So you can't be jumping the lava. So you have to get all these shots while either flying or jumping and, and staying alive. I think that would be dope. And it would kind of have a, a like a Kingdom Hearts and, uh, you know, Wreck-It Ralph type of vibe where you see a lot of gaming characters, uh, depending on who you get licensing for, but just sort of yeah. like out of their element and in their element. So yeah, I think a super Lakito game would be Lit. Pat, I'm just going to go ahead and say this real quick. There is games. Football Manager is literally a game where you manage a football team. Soccer, it's soccer football, mind you. But that legit is a whole game that exists. Mm -hmm. You literally just manage a football team. You don't even play You don't even play soccer. Yeah, but are you, you, are you like actually one. walking around into the business? Game? No, of course not. You're just going through and actually just going over people's salaries, people, you know, the lineups. Yeah, stuff I like would that. want it to be like a business type game, like how, how it's course, like how coaching, you, how you would like coach a game or, or do like the... Uh, right. The WWE thing. I would really want it to be like interactive, like free world, you know, Nintendo Studios. Lakito has to go from set to set and literally like not and then go into the game. So the same way that Mario had the open world and then you jumped into a painting, you really had to like go into a set and like 
shoot one of your like a class with a classic character either an mm -hmm. old game or like a new game that could be like you could shoot retro games and then later on in the game is like the newer games that no one's seen yet and like premiering games like there's so much opportunity with that and i just love this character like look at him he got the little <laughs> the glasses and a, and a flying cloud i mean it's kind of sells no, itself no yeah, Pat, I was just literally saying that there's literally a market for it. Since they already do the whole soccer manager thing, I mean, hell, Nintendo can, could, could, they could take a shot at it. Why? I think they and empower it. the young creators, empower the young minds like Pat, who, like, see it from that perspective but really don't know. Like, this could literally be their gateway. Like, when we talked about Pokemon Snap, and we always yeah. wondered, like, did that game help anyone become a photographer? It turns right, out right. someone responded to the arcade tokens. Yeah, that's the game that got me into photography. I'm like, that's crazy. That's super dope. Yeah, yeah, and I would want it to be fun to play too. You know what I mean? Not necessarily like, you know, I'm an aspiring director or something or aspiring blah, 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 blah. I think it would just be fun to like play and like you it, it <laughs> back up off the, the, the characters that you usually are like Donkey Kong and Mario and now you're like following them around. <laughs> Yeah, because no one wants to see Lakito filling out paperwork to rent out the uh, equipment. Nobody right. wants that. That part, well, but, the equipment pickups and the, yeah. the but, but, level one budget meeting. <laughs> <laughs> He's flying around the meeting room. We don't have enough fucking money. <laughs> this is Mario, okay? This isn't Super Luigi. We got we booked Mario. <laughs> but, um, but I like where you're going with him, though, because like you said, you could do things like like uh like take him into Mario Kart and one of the things is uh he can slow things down with his camera to get good shots so like even like on Rainbow Road like in eight when they jump off of it he can kind of go under them catch a great shot but then that gives you extra points like extra cloud points or whatever coins mm -hmm. for it for his stuff like you said it just gives him unlocks other things for him to go do. Hell yeah. Honestly, no, this, Pat, this is only a great idea. Honestly, I didn't think you were going to go this way with it. I was not expecting Imagine you had to, like, sure. catch everyone who th falls off a of rainbow road. Because, you know, that's Lakito too. The dude who mm -hmm. catches you and puts you back on. Like, that would be, like, a cool little mini game, too. Like, <laughs> save your friends. Yep. I also got another thing to throw in there. My man actually works for TMZ. He has to literally work at the black market as well. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start selling, you gotta start selling the side. BTS paparazzi. Donkey Kong was found with someone who was not his wife. <laughs> well, no, but that's, how, that, <laughs> that's how you unlock other suits and stuff for Lakita to wear, like different goggles and stuff, different clouds. You sell images to a TMZ for a Mario. I would even throw like a dark say. DLC in there where like there was like a Mario Kart accident and Toad crashes and dies. And there's like a whole, a whole thing in the Mushroom Kingdom where like- oh, <laughs> You could have brought him back and you didn't, Lakito. Oh. So Lakito's like banned and shunned for a little while and he has to do something to win the town back. Oh, hey bro, it sounds amazing. I'm here for all of it. <laughs> this is the dark part of Mushroom Kingdom. You don't see Right, <laughs> this is the stuff you don't see. <laughs> Man, that was good. That was That's a good, a good one, man. That was a good one, man. Um, well, uh, Cleo, would you like to go next? Because, you know, just kind of keep the Mario train running. Actually, I'm switching it up on y'all, man. Surprise. Oh. I came up with something new. Originally, I wanted to be on the Mario train, but then I thought of something else. Uh, being a big Final Fantasy fan, I was like, yo, you know who I would love to play as? Give me more. Now that I'm into, you know, shooters a little bit more, I would love to play a third-person shooter and use the character Barrett. I think oh, that would be a really interesting run, bro. Uh, to be in the Final Fantasy VII world, and you know, Barrett comes from a completely different background than Cloud. Uh, he grew up in the city of Coral. He's been trying to fight uh, Shinra for a very long time. He is considered an eco-terrorist. He's one of the founding members of Avalanche. So to be able to run through Midgar, and uh, yeah, because he doesn't leave, the, he never leaves that city until you know, this, like midway through this one. But to be running around Migger and then being able to complete different missions and take on Shinra in different ways, man, and meet some, maybe some of the people who were there before Cloud and before Tifa, like that's something I would be really be interested in for our origin story for Barrett, man. So this is before yeah. seven. Barrett before, before seven. seven. This yeah. would be hard, bro. So I'm just glad that you, yeah, I'm just glad you confirmed it. Cause I thought about it at first, but I was like, you know, again too, like with like Knuckles and like we said, Zero, I was like, you know, leave that to Cleo to come through with there, but I agree, man. Cause like, what was a dude that like Cloud was always cool with uh, that died? Zach. Zach. Zach Fair. You could you man. could see you could see him maybe cross paths with Zach and stuff Ooh. like this and this and maybe uh, I always forget her name. The one that passed away. Aerith. Uh, Aerith. 
he can be able to run into her, and then you kind of learn a backstory with them and what somewhat bring them all together. I think this is dope. That's yeah, great. man. Yeah. You, and we get a little bit of a sneak peek of it. Like, we get a sneak peek of his origin story because his uh, his partner that he was actually his daughter in the game, that's not really his daughter. That's his friend's daughter who passed away. And he just takes care of her like that. She calls him daddy and everything. But uh, right. his friend, is, I think his name is Dine. He lost his, uh, he lost, they both lost their right hands, right? Mm -hmm. As you see, he has the gun on his right hand side. Yeah. Um, Shinra was shooting at him and his partner when they were completing a mission. His friend almost fell off the mountain. He reached down to grab him and he was holding on to his, they were holding on to each other. And uh, Shinra lit up both of their arms. So they both lost their same right arm. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, that's in the first that's, video game. That's first seven. iteration of Final Fantasy seven. Seven. So we see even how he got his arm. We do see that in the original, but even the retelling of that story. Oh man, yes, let's do it. Yeah, this would be hard. Uh, but I think Pat, what you had said, uh, it, what, what kind of game it would be? Oh yeah, are you saying that you would? Would you lose the RPG element and just keep give it like make it like a shooter, uh, closer to the fighting system of the newer one, the remaster? Absolutely, absolutely. No first person. I would love for it to be third person, similar to exactly how he plays in the Final Fantasy VII remake uh yeah being able to crouch behind walls that all oh, man like make it gears of war style where he can go and go into cover fire and lift up and blast i love that i think that would be an amazing thing square enix if you're listening we want it we want <laughs> you know it's interesting and important for this one he got like he got the outfit for it like he don't have like a side character outfit. You know, like some people have a character like outfits where you're just like, oh, you probably the side character. You're the side character. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're the side I could nigga, see huh? him. I could see him having a a game based on how like how dope his outfit is. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like when he trained, and this ain't a this is not a, a race a race thing. Wherever he trained was the same place that Jax and Sonya Blade trained. Mm. I just I don't know why it just seemed like there was like a weird crossover there. Yeah, so I feel like even if Jax and Sonya wasn't in the game, I feel like they shouldn't be. But even if they had like a cameo, like in boot camp, that would be tight. <laughs> That'd be dope. Oh, I don't mind the crossover, bro. You low, hey, low key, you could do that smoothly without nobody knowing. Like you could walk, he could be walking in, and uh, a bear is already missing his arm. Be like, hey, man. Don't fret about it, man. I'm thinking about kind of maybe upgrade knees myself. And then he mm -hmm. walk off. He like, is that Jax? Is that a Jax sideline? Hey, the nigga, the nigga went to Nether Realm. I'm sure he can go to Midgar. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go, yeah, right there. Maybe jumping around. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's dope. Cool. Yeah, that's dope. That come to life. I think that's super be Barrett. Ex expands on that universe just a little bit more. Being able to see, uh, you know, some of the origin stories not only behind him but the rest of Avalanche because. You find out in the remake that you you originally think Avalanche is just his crew. Then comes to find out, no, there's several different little sectors that have Avalanche groups in them, and they do look out for each other. You find that out in the Final Fantasy VII remake. So knowing that there could be another guy out there who's the leader of his Avalanche group at like the you know se sector two or sector three, that you guys got to link up and do a mission. I'm I would love that. Yeah. All the way to the point of like who brought him in, or like like where yeah, his put him on exactly, um, and everything. Even like maybe like you said, maybe too before he gets to like maybe he was somewhere before he gets to Midgar. Yep, he was, he was in Coral. Coral. Yeah, he was in Coral. He was a spot yeah. called Coral, and uh, he worked. Shinra uh, hired him and his uh, his the people in his city to help them build the railroad station or the railroad in between their cities. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as soon as they were done building it, they screwed him over and just left this left the city in, in shambles. It was really bad. Um, yeah, this is, this is all in the original game. All in the original. All game. in the original. Does he reload his gun? He doesn't like boom drop something in more bullets. It just there's bullets. To be honest with you, yeah, I've never seen a, like a, a clip drop and then nigga reload. Yeah, never. I've never I've never seen him reload. But that those guns you have to hella reload. <laughs> <laughs> is it here's the thing though? Is he shooting bullets though? We don't know. see. That's the thing. Because remember, he also shoots right like now. a big Buster cannon. So is that just lasers that's shooting out? Oh, I see what you're saying. Because I was I was noticing he got all these like sidekick cases. I'm assuming there's ammo in them, but they could be really anything. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was looking at that little side thing that he has right there. I mean, is that a scope that's supposed to be right there? I think that's a flashlight, right? Ooh. I don't know. I'm zooming in, trying to figure it out. That's right there. That little thing right I can there. see. What, yeah, I think doesn't he have a scope? Because I see where the, his handle is. I feel like he. I yeah. feel like it's a flashlight because. A mini gun with a scope is kind of ridiculous. Right, right. <laughs> really? I think you just spray it. 
Yeah, this thing's not made for accuracy. Not for precision. Right, 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 Watch baby. me hit this, right, this right. deck of cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's super dope. Oh, I love this design, and they, you know, even the original, the original Final Fantasy VII uh, design of Barrett. I always liked it. It was big. It was brawlic. He was definitely military based. It was always cool. So to see the updated graphics of him, it just made me more want like, yeah, I want a game with just Barrett. Like if we can pull that off, please let's do it. Yeah, I'm down. I would definitely uh, be down for that. So, uh, but yeah, so I guess, you know, to kind of keep the, uh, the black power characters moving, man, I'm going to uh, also throw out mine, man. I'm going with Lamar Davis from GTA five, man. Uh, now that's Link. Yeah, shout out Slink Johnson, man, aka Black G's, aka the voice of Lamar. I just think that Lamar had, I just wanted to see more of him. I think he had such a dope presence, thanks to uh, Slink being able to really bring this character to life. That I just want to see a story that got to do with him, the dog chop that he's got, and just like something to do with Grove Street. Like, I would love to see like them probably, like, hopefully do a crossover with San Andreas, like, all of the like. Uh, CJ's people are back. Like the heavy set. What was the heavy set dude name? I always forget their names. Um, for Maybe like Ryder, all, all of them. Like you, but I mean, y'all, I'm sure y'all know who I'm talking about. Like the right, original right. crew from San Andreas. Like the OGs yeah. come back and try to take over Grove Street, and Lamar got to try to solve that stuff and figure everything out. And then you know it takes you on this wild adventure and stuff. But I just thought he was a dope character that could have really just got some more shine. It was I always him. putting him into shit. Man, we gotta go bust this, homie. Like, yo, he was his lines were crazy, man. Yeah. And doing voiceover work is crazy because you're in the studio for hours, days, months, and you're saying the same line a bunch of different times and then th- different uh, words, but like different uh, inflections in your voice in them. So for them to go and grab Slink Johnson, for him to bring that character to life, they did an amazing job with casting it, bro. Because I I hear it, like looking at the picture, I hear the voice in my head, man. All right. <laughs> Nigga, oh, he, that, he killed that scene outside when you yeah. first pull up to the house. Yeah. He killed that scene. Oh hey, you need God. to worry about that yee yee ass haircut. You gotta get some bitches on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Nigga, and walked up. But yeah, man. So that was that was mine. I just think like, but I think all three of these are in well deserving, especially how pitch are in well deserving their own movie. These were some great selections for this. So, yeah. um, I love I think, Yeah. So, I think that's only right for us to kind of keep this train going a little bit, but move a little bit outside of video games as far as people who are deserving of getting a spinoff game. And Cleo brought up something very interesting, um, a t- very top ranking within the Batman realm. Cleo, would you like to bring us into level two? I, do, I would, I would. Let's go into level two, two, three, two. Level two, ladies and gentlemen, on the RK Tokens podcast is us discussing who is without a doubt the best Robin. E Z P Z Lemon Squeezy. Mm. All right. That's all. The best Robin is controversial. I know you guys don't agree with me, but I don't see how. I don't see how. The best Robin is none other than Batman Seed himself, Mr. Damian Wayne. I mean. Oh, wait, wait, what? No. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were on the Dick Grayson train. Hey, I love Nightwing. He's awesome. Right. But the best Robin is (laughs) baby Batman. I mean. He was, by age 10, he was, he knew how to kill a grown man easily, a group of grown, he was climbing icy mountains. He's, he is the bad, the baddest kid in that universe. He's, he's, first of all, he was raised by the Legion, all right, a ninja, he is a super ninja, he's raised by the League of Shadows. Yep. Um, He is, uh, uh, I, I feel like the fact that he was going out, he had the option of having Batman's help on all of these crazy missions. And he was sneaking out to do shit by himself. And I remember even even uh, Nightwing was like, uh, I mean, the place he wants to go to is 50 miles off the coast. Like what, what's he gonna do, swim? And he popped his head out, you know what I mean? 
and was still had the energy to fight. Think about that. You are a child. You swam 50 miles, got out and was like, who's next? I would be dead. I would be dead. And and everybody's like, oh, he's so bratty and he had an attitude. He was Batman level almost. I mean, he was Batman level and a child. Obviously, he was going to be like, I'm just like, I'm not listening to you. I'm little Batman. And obviously, you know, this has a lot to do with me like loving the character Kid Goku because I just think that, you know, my favorite characters in kid form uh, is is awesome. So I just think a badass kid who who was given hands to people that I mean to be to be honest there was a couple of scenes that Batman was struggling with the with the people and, and Damien jumped in there I I love Nightwing but I think the 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 idea of a little ninja kid that's literally Batman's child becoming Robin and being able to do all that brutal ass shit at his age is dope Jason Todd was more brutal I, I'm just gonna I did not out there. know you was on the Damien Wayne train Oh man, if that was my second, that was my second spinoff. If I didn't pick uh, uh, Lakito, it would be an Arkham Knight style with Damian Wayne in the, uh, you know, I, I think he would eventually get his Robin costume, but I well, think it would be dope. Him and Nightwing? Well, let me be the first to just go ahead and say it for all of us, sir. Welcome to the club. Bro, Damian? Nigga, Damian Wayne is the hardest oh fucking God. Robin ever. You can say what you want about Jason Ty. Jason Ty will get bodied by Damian. Nigga, you saw what he did to Nightwing. You saw the hands he put on Night, and that was a light day. That was a light day. He, he was did. like, I didn't, I didn't even bring the sword out on. He said, I could have gave you a thousand cuts, but I didn't even do that to you. Cause you are like my father's whatever you are. Just remember who's the real. And then walked off. He said, just remember who's the real son. <laughs> and walked off. I was like, yo, that's him right there. That's yeah. him. He could have on high shorts. I bet you still won't say nothing to him. Okay. He's tight. I don't get what's, what's the, what is the issue? Uh, what is the oh. ranking system? Of, and what is the actual criteria of what we are claiming as is the best Robin? First as of all, I'm a hey, Batman hey. fan. I feel that the best ranking system for who's the best Robin is who would who is the one worthy enough to take over the mantle of Batman. That's Damn what it's it. all been for. That's what all of this has been for. For me, at least, that's how I've always viewed the story as far as being the, the main character and the side character, the, the, the sidekick to Batman. It's him training you. So when it's all said and done, you're taking over as Batman. But Jason is, Ty is, is, is okay. Damian Wayne really who you want as Batman in the city of Gotham? He'd burn the whole city down. There's a whole storyline where Damian burned down Gotham. He Listen, burned it. I didn't know that's what we were talking about. I thought it was our favorite Robin. Oh. Well, if, it, if it's the, the most qualified, I would say Nightwing. He kind of did it. He, okay, I boom. Mean, no, no I wouldn't even say it because he hella drops the ball. Hell will be dropping the ball. He is so does that happen? I keep trying he to live. He went to his own city. I, he wouldn't go took care of his own I city. Mean, Come that's, on, that's, that's cool. He kind of did really what Batman though? did. Is he, he really he was like, Let me go do it elsewhere. Yeah. Name me three <laughs> villains from Nightwing. Name me three villains from for Damian Wayne. All of Batman. Himself, all, all of Batman. me, myself, and all of, then, and all then all of Batman's Shadow. villains. Exactly. Like, I'm asking, who is Nightwing fighting in Bloodhaven? Uh, he, who you be like, yo, crooks. I'm going up again. We didn't see who Damien went up again. But that's just us not knowing. That doesn't mean that he ain't fighting nobody. <laughs> Man, Man. Nightwing ain't doing shit. That's why he with Teen Titans. He had to join no, the all I, Get out of here. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying, I'll leave it at this. Blood Craven, obviously all the big he heavy hitters are making business moves in Gotham. Ain't nobody making moves in Blood Here's my thing. That's the reason why. My thing is this. Um, uh, Bruce Wayne went to the League of Shadows when he was a grown man, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he already had his morals, already had his trauma, all that stuff. The League of Shadows teaches you how to be an assassin, to kill. So it's like, it makes sense. Like Batman had to withstand all of that and be like, all right, I'm gonna take these, these things as a grown man. I'm gonna learn this, go back to my, uh, go back to Gotham. And now I have my perfect, you know, moral system where I don't kill anybody. And Loki, he's wrong. He should have killed hella villains. You know what I mean? But oh with Damien, he was born into the League of Shadows. He had he knew nothing else. He even had a scene with uh, Bruce where he was just like, I know how to fight. And he was like, Bruce said, yeah, they probably didn't teach you much else, huh? Like they did not give a damn about this kid. All they wanted to make him was the perfect killing uh, machine. So it's not his fault morally. He was born into that. So 
he might make a better Batman because he went through the same training Batman went, but mm. he could probably kill the shit out of a Joker and, and not have 30 more comics of Joker killing and, and destroying the city. <laughs> and if I'm honest, let's, let's really keep it, let's keep it honest. Got the need to burn. If we've learned anything from all of it, well, got the need to restart. Got the need to be burnt to the ground because it just, just too much be going on. I just think- started- Go ahead, Pat. All, all, all I was going to say was Gotham is the worst city on earth. Even Period. even when Spider-Man's swinging around New York City and making it seem like New York City is the worst place, Gotham is like hell compared to that. Yeah, so it's it, by far the worst city. It needs a, a Batman that kills. It just does. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. How much longer do you guys think DC is going to ride this? I think it's time. No, I, I love it. I love that about him, though. But I wouldn't mind finally seeing, like, you know, there's the theory out there, and Will was speaking about earlier in the Killing Joke at the very end of that comic series. Or not, not the Killing Joke, excuse me. Um, uh, at the very end of, wait, is it Killing Joke? Or is it The Dark Knight Rises? The, the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises right. book series where Batman finally does it. It's at the very last, no, it's in both, Will. It's in both. It is The Killing Joke. It is. 100% is The Killing Joke because the lights go out and they're at the bridge and they're fighting outside. And the Dark Knight Rises, they're inside of the uh, the love tunnel thing at the. Oh at yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. It was, it is. But he didn't really do it though. I mean, I mean, Joker finished himself off. Yes, he finished himself off in that one. In the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, he but he himself. killed. He killed him. Either he could have waited and did it, but he killed himself. But he we don't mean, ever have real Batman. confirmation that Batman really did take that step and break his neck that day. No, but I he- would like to finally see Batman pull the mask off, look Joker in his eye and stab him directly in the heart. I want to see it. He didn't stab him, but he did do it. He had like- I want to see that though, Will. Eventually he does it. If you watch like, if you, uh, the from the Kingdom Come story, the DC one, like where they get a little bit older, he kills Joker after, and then after that Bane breaks Batman's back. And that's when he has like the suit and that stuff. That, yeah, but that's when he's like bitter as shit. That's when like even Batman on some fuck shit. Like mm-hmm. Batman becomes like way stricter on stuff. Like he is like, like he's like, because that's when like Batman Incorporated comes and like now he starts going on some Iron Man type shit. So he's building like robot Batmans to go out to the city and patrol stuff and everything. Do you think, do you think Damian Wayne knows that his mama slipped something in Bruce's drink to conceive him? Man, listen, after you told me women put vagina water in food, I, I, I'm it sorry. don't even matter no more. What is, what is vagina water? Oh. The juices, man. The juices. Juice. Vagina water. Vagina water. That, I mean, you, made, you, you, you packaged it like Propel or something like that. <laughs> 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 <I'm a hydrate. laughs> man, I'll leave it at, I have my theory about this. It's probably not the time to talk about this, but I will say this, that, you know, vagina does actually produce children. That produces whole life in there. So there has to be something in there that could be good for the system. Oh, but that's a different subject. All right, Kadeem. That's I don't know where, this I don't know where we were going with that conversation, and we just I just, started. I, out. Like I said, this is not the time. This is not the time. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we're talking favorite Robins. Obviously, Will and Pat are Team Damian Wayne. I understand everything they're saying. I get why. I understand why he's cool. I get why he's great to y'all. But for me, I have to stand with my man Dick Grayson, bro. I got to stand with Nightwing. Dick Grayson got his ass handed to him, but he lost. He ain't, he yeah. got no, he's not, the, if they were still all in the house, he's no longer the top dog in the house. That's crazy. Out of all the Robins. Remember he was like, you ne- you couldn't be Robin. And then that nigga showed up with that suit. <laughs> Dick was low key hating. I'm not even going to lie. He was, was like, yeah. He oh, was. Come in here and think you tight. And then he was like, oh, you are tight. Oh, damn. What did yeah. they do to you over there? Yeah, <laughs> Tim Drake stayed in his womb the whole time. Like, you know what? Nah. When Batman tell me it's time to go, y'all but be- give give Dick his uh give Dick give Dick his due. <laughs> <laughs> when Batman was getting beat up, he was still getting saved by a Dick every single every single time. So every time. And what did Bat? What did Bruce do? He impregnated his girl. Did that happen? That yeah. happened. Dick's girl. Yeah. Dick. Grayson, you and Barbara Gordon were a thing. 
Nightwing and her have been dating for such a long time. Dick got mad. He went over to Bloodhaven, but she chose to stay with Bruce and she chose to stay in Gotham. What did Batman do? He took it down. What did he do? He gave her a baby. And what baby Dick, was this? Dick flew back in and was like, word, nigga? Yeah! <laughs> Caught that nigga clean. Please, there's a comic book of it. There's an animated movie of it. Go check it out. Which animated movie? Uh, let me go pull it up. I believe it happened in The Killing Joke. Damn, Batman. They, but they didn't explain it, did they? I don't think, I don't think they it. explained it in The Killing that. Joke. I, yeah, no. I remember watching it thoroughly, yeah. and I don't remember it saying that, that, But I do remember the show upon is like him being in Blood Haven, them kind of like having somewhat, like you could tell there's tension there with them, but that was. Yeah, yeah you can tell there's a beef yeah. for sure, but you don't know why if you just it, watch it. Yeah, the like it's real silently spoken. Like everybody yeah. know what didn't happen. Hey, y'all know why we here. Let's just get this done. Was Batman like sorry about it, or was he just like, all right? Cause, no, because Batman's a villain. He's all for everybody. Batman is a villain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? <laughs> These hoes for everybody. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. They're like, I made her Batgirl. What you want me to do? Like, exactly. Come on. Say, I trained that. Yeah. What do you think you hit? Like, what you want? Yo, 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 yo. The comic strip, though, how it's, how it's revealed? Barbara's face. Barbara's face again. I'm seven weeks pregnant. Bruce's face. Bruce's face again. I'll have to congratulate Dick. Barbara's face. He's only been back for three. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, so they they hooked up when uh, when he came back. Before he came back. Before that, he had bro. He got so pissed. Bro, off Bruce that. thought nothing of it. She like, I'm saying we pregnant. He like, oh shit, congratulations to you and Dick. No, but Nick. I'm saying like when she when Dick came back, they were a thing again. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah I guess they hit right back up. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so he only smashed once and got her pregnant. Mm hmm. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Batman. Batman sperm. You won't kill a nigga, but you'll fuck your girl, your nigga girl. Nigga, you whack, nigga. His sperm was fucking fighting like Batman, probably. They was like, yeah. Give me in his head. Oh, shit. Batman. Nigga, sperm throws a sperm meringue at the head. <laughs> <laughs> Remote control batarang through it. Success. <laughs> <laughs> sperm mobile. <laughs> <laughs> you, just oh, going into the egg. you got a sperm Alfred good job sir happy hunting but why are we at Bruce's neck how come we can't go at Barbara's neck for giving it up I oh, mean she just I ain't mad at Barbara it. like I'm huh? not mad at, I'm not really mad at Bruce I mean because let, let's really be honest like dick ain't none of this for you do you know you where do you know where you'd be if it wasn't like you the one that got mad and ran off like you the one that was just like yo yeah, Man. but smashing her is like smashing his ex girl is not as bad as getting her pregnant. Like, damn. I mean, hey, man, like, I guess Batman is Team Raw Dog. I don't know, but that's how he Clearly. ain't no Batman condoms in there. Nah, I mean, it ain't like he ain't got the money to take care of it. Like, all right, you should, baby, I'll be all right. I want a live <laughs> I action. about this one? Like, clearly, I ain't got good father issues. I want a live action movie. Called Arkham Entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's a lot, bro. Actually, that's a great idea. Cause you go off that, the one, the shit with Batman and Catwoman with Huntress, uh, the Huntress daughter. Oh, you, uh, can, you can go in and throw throw Harley Quinn and uh, Ivy in there. Harley Quinn, and Ivy, and Catwoman, cause what they like together, like in a little freeway. Mm -hmm. You can go and throw all. You can throw that all in there. They were they were they were running around getting it in. Yep. Joker and his old abusive oh, ass. God, but Damn, then Dick did Harley. Dick Grayson huh? took down Harley Quinn. Dick Grayson did he take did. down Harley. Is that Red Hood in the middle? Yeah, that's that right. is Jason Todd. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's the one, the the Robin that died and came back. Yep. Yes. Okay. One got blown the fuck up by by Joker himself. And in a comic too. again, he's he's relentless too though. Like, don't get it twisted. Jason Todd, he's pretty ruthless as well. Like. I, I mean, he'd, he'd pop a nigga. He'd pop Damien in the face. He became that under, Joker the, that under the Red Hood movie is a classic. He came back to Gotham and cut off all of the, the street general's heads and threw it on the table like, yo, this is what I did in 30 minutes. Y'all want to see what I can do in a day? All right. Y'all talk. Y'all y'all answer to me now. I was like, oh, shit. I'm just letting you know. Like, Damien is talking that shit. That's what I would be yes. stuck on. That, that's the same thing. No, that's the same thing Damien do. The only difference between the two of them, Red Hood do it out of anger. Damien just know what the fuck he doing. Like, yo, I, I just took over your whole city 
in 24 hours. Do you want to see what I can do in a week? Bro, and he's a genius. He hacked yeah. the bat. He hacked the bat cave his first day. He was just like, man, your security sucks. And Batman was like, what did they do to you over there? That's <laughs> true. I was, was going to say, Look, look. I was gonna say Tim Drake. Tim Drake did it too, but Tim, it took Tim Drake more time to, to hack it. But Tim but Drake, did it even too. Tim Drake getting the getting into the Robin roles always kind of threw me for a loop because he wasn't invited in. Like he broke in and was like, "Look, I was smart enough to figure out who you are. I want to be a Robin." And Bruce was like, "All right, that's it." And, and you know, and you know what his reward for it was? He got kidnapped and became the Joker. That's what you get. Congratulations! Stop running with stop running with punk ass niggas. Is that the one with uh, the the pole? Yeah, the yeah, with the staff in the back. Yeah. yeah, that's the one that was sitting there in the uh, Batman Beyond crying after he killed the Joker. Just... <laughs> He's like Come the least on. talked about one. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's probably the least popular one for sure. I mean, it's it's really because it's coming off of after the Jason Todd thing. It's just kind of like, um, but that's that's the crazy part. That's what the fans asked for. What like they like, wanted, Jason, wanted Jason Todd dead. Like that was a thing back right. then. It was the old comic book, and the, it, it was telling the story of what was happening. And it said, "Call this line if you want Jason Todd to survive. Call this line if you want Jason Todd to be dead." Wow. They, everyone called the dead one. That one got more numbers. They killed Jason Todd. They just didn't like her. The him. They didn't, they didn't like it. And it, what was funny about it? It was because he took over Dick Grayson, Sick. and they were Dick just Grayson. like, "No, we don't want to see another Robin." And then they was like, "Oh man, y'all killed off that Robin. We need another one." And then they made Tim mm-hmm. Drake. Man, we don't like that one. All right, man, we're going to make Robin one more time and it's going to be his son. Okay, we cool with that. People like that one? I mean, did yeah, people like it, that one? Yeah, it's so bad, bro. There was a girl version of Robin don't nobody acknowledge. It was like, that did not happen. I'm trying to figure out what. I think I had her on this Stephanie list. Hold on, let me pull it back up. Yeah, I had her. Just I'll comics, no no list. animated movies? No, nah, she was in uh the, the, Dark, Knight, the Dark Knight Returns uh movie where he's kind of like the one that basically Ben Affleck is dressed as, where he's kind of like big and bulky with the big bat wing. Yeah. That's uh Stephanie that's Brown. Carrie that's Carrie Kelly. Him. Oh, that's Karen Kelly is his Robin, you're right. Yeah. All there there she is right is there. Growing up as an acrobat does not equal growing up as an assassin. Facts. This is true. Did you- Jason Todd was a criminal too, though. Like I said, don't sleep. Jason. Jason was out here getting it in in the streets. Okay. Jason Todd will get them hands put on him by Damien. Jason let's, Todd. Let's, 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 Jason Todd will let's, shoot let's, that little. Hey, man. guess what happened? Damien will pull that sword off and bounce that bullet off and shoot Jason Todd. Man, nah, Jason. Jason Todd will shoot that little man. motherfucker right in his face. He got to catch Damien first. Which version? Which Which Robin is in? Um. Uh, Injustice. Injustice. Uh, that's Damien. Yeah. That's Damien. Damien's in Injustice. Too. And Damien, and then, Damien is in Injustice, uh, uh, Young Justice, right? So he's the only one that has a hood, right? Uh, I no, think Tim did. Because, it, because uh, in, in the Arkham series, I think Arkham City or the Arkham Asi- or yeah. Arkham Knight. It, it was Arkham. It was Arkham City. Arkham City. Robin had Robin. That was Tim Drake. Tim Robin, Drake's Robin. And he had and he had a hood on. Yeah. He did have they a, took that so, from him. Yeah, because he, he got the staff. Yeah, so that was. Yeah, exactly. That's the challenge. Now he's on the challenge maps and everything like that. Yeah, that was Tim. Drake. Yep. Yeah, because Tim, because Jason yeah. Todd is gone in Arkham City, because that's the whole. That's yes. the whole. That's the uh, Arkham Knight. Yep. Exactly. So I mean, you have Nightwing as a, as a uh, DLC character, and you have uh, Robin, which is Tim Drake's in, in Arkham City. So. Look, he's the great grand. He's the grandson of Ray Shao Ghoul. The kid's gonna come ruthless. That's fine. It's in his blood to be ruthless. We get that, but damn, can I not stand that little nigga, bro? He's too good. Why? Yeah, that's why he's an asshole. Yeah, it's like he, what you want me to do? He's climbing the Alps and shit at seven years old. Of course, he's gonna be a, a little dick. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this little smug fucking face. Fuck <laughs> Look, man, like when you know, you know. What you want him to be humble? He ain't got no daddy issues. He not trying to impress Bruce. Like, Loki, he'd be like, man, fuck you, bro. You look like Loki. Yep. I, I want to kind of kill you for, for smashing my mom and making me because you wasn't worthy. That's how he be looking at Bruce. Like, but I'll, I'll take what, you out. What, what, what I, what's cool about him is he kind of does have some issues because it's like they don't really, they don't really like uh, touch on it at first, but like the little hints, like when, uh, when, when he was like, um, I think uh, Bruce was like, he canceled on his girl and was like, you trying to watch a movie? I'll heat up some popcorn. He was just like, what? 
a family life. Like yeah. he was just like, you could tell like, but he was in his assassin. So he just wouldn't show it. He was just like, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go watch some movies. You know, like, <laughs> I, like that dynamic. On this. I don't want Batman to have a, a, a cutie kid that's just like, right. yeah, what's up, Papa? Like, I don't right. want that. He looking at you. No, nah, he can't. What's, he couldn't have that anyway. What's your angle? <laughs> right. Shout out to my man Houston Banks from Curry's and Cali Dog. What's your offer? Oh, that reminds me, bro. All right, let's get into this boss level. All right, man. It's time for the boss level. <laughs> da, da, da. Fellas, I need. What if I was to tell you that there was a world where Nintendo and PlayStation created a console together. Would you believe me? I mean, I wouldn't have before today, but I don't like this. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. at the Nintendo PlayStation, for our audio folks, Nintendo PlayStation made a video game console. Originally, Nintendo wanted to add a disc to their console, and so they went to Sony. Sony decided to put a disc within the console, and for some reason, it just didn't work out. Prototypes were made, didn't come out the way they wanted it, so Sony decided to go out on their own and make PlayStation. But had it not worked out, this is what would have happened. That is just look at it. To look at a Nintendo PlayStation. Think about that. A that sounds fake. Nintendo PlayStation. Wow. I can't even put the two words together to say it. I do like the start button because it reminds me of the PlayStation One. I think that's dope. But look at that. Wait. First of all, they're playing Street Fighter Two, a Capcom game. <laughs> <laughs> this is just all weird. <laughs> wow, is that the on the on the right side at the bottom? Is that fast forward, rewind, play, and pause under where it says PlayStation? Oh shit, it is. Wow. I mean, it was a CD player. Well, exactly, well, I mean, it, it is a CD player because it's like a real computer drive in that thing, isn't it, Kadeem? Yeah, exactly. No, that's literally a CD uh, CD drive right, right there. there. I see the logo. And then you got a little headphone jack, a little volume there. So you can clearly, it's a CD That's not even the power button, Pat, the one you like. That's right the that's eject button. Eject button. Oh. Power's at the bottom. Power, power's right there. Eject, reset. As you can see, it has the PlayStation controller outlets. So if this would have come to life, would that mean we wouldn't see any Sony Original? uh, originals? Exactly, because it just they were just haven't been uh, the the production for the hardware, they would have just made the hardware. That's it. So all the games would still be Nintendo based yep. and companies yep. that only Nintendo rocked with. That is Link yep. would be on CD. Picture that Link on disc. This this is more of the auction photos right here. This is pretty much what you got with it. You got a little uh, PlayStation power supply. We look at these controllers. Oh my god! It's it like, is a Super Nintendo remote with the Famicom colors, but it has Sony. PlayStation branding. Oh God, I hate that color wave of the buttons. It looks so dingy. That literally looks like those uh, those like bootleg video game controllers that be in the hotels. Yep. Yeah, yep. yep. That's just what that looks like too. Man, hey, but, yeah. yo, but just like you said, bro, no, no Gran Turismo, no Twisted Metal Black, no God of War, because like Nintendo wasn't making that at this time. So the the funny thing about this whole situation, now that I'm thinking about it, so Nintendo actually did give their licensing out to I, was it Philips that made Mario games and and, and Zelda games? Phillips. I think it was Philips. What do you mean? Phillips, as as in the company Philips, as in you know. Hold on, let me just pull it up so you guys can see it. Um, it is they made some of the worst Link in Mario games to ever exist on this planet. I'm just letting you know that right now. It they pretty much played it off a DVD player. And it played just like you were playing off a DVD player. It's terrible. It's awful. Let me just find these games. Hold on. Link. The weirdest thing about this is that Nintendo has like a big, like a really strict violence policy. So even if we did get a, we would have never got a God of War, mm -hmm. but there would, there's a lot of PlayStation games that would have never seen any type of violence. It would have been very, like, imagine the Metal Gear 
series on a Nintendo Metal Gear. That would have been that would have been pretty wild. Imagine a game yeah. like Abe's Odyssey never being made. Oh man. Yeah, that, 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 that's that is a beautiful world. Let's get into you right there, right? Oh. So this this is this is one of the Phillips game that was made. God. Zelda, The Wind of uh, Gamelon. You can see the bottom left. It is a new interactive animated adventure. Wait, 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 wait. Phillips. What is this? Phillips, as Phillips, in the niggas as... who make TVs and DVD players used to make video games? Mm -hmm. They made, they got the licensing from Nintendo to make Zelda and Mario games. They made two Zelda games and I think one Mario game. If I show you the, the cutscenes of these games, you'd be like, this is disgusting. For what? For what system? Uh, their actual CDI is what it was called. It's called the Phillips these CDI. Shits I remember these shits being played on the TVs at cons. It's like the uh, electronic store. Like Phillips would have mm -hmm. like sections for their TVs and stuff. This would be playing. I didn't know this was a game. They kept saying it comes with the TV. And I was just like, I don't I don't get what this means. But OK. So gross. I, I feel like that taints the whole series. They, they hoard out Zelda and Mario for, for Philip games. Here you this go. Is early, Here you go. What kind of this, this, this? This is it. As you see, you got a Hotel Mario game over there. Uh, we have the two Zelda. I'm sorry, the three Zelda games. Well, actually, one is and called here. Link. That's different. Oh yeah, it is called Link. You're right. Wonder Come on, Link got a game. Link got a game, Pat. Link got a game. All of the games are his games. Damn it. <laughs> Link got a game in his name. No, look at what Phillips did for him. That's the this, worst controller is, I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm telling you guys, it was literally a DVD player that was pretending to be a video game. These, no, these things came with the television. They sold these with the televisions. So was there a, a gameplay aspect or were they just like animes? Oh, no, no, it's a gameplay aspect and it's terrible. And then let me just show you the cutscene. I'm just going to show you how they animated uh, Link and Zelda in this game real quick. And that should already give you enough. If you don't want to see it, Pat, it's just not, it's not worth it. It's not even worth the trouble. Whew. I'm scared now. All right, one. Well, here you go. This is what we got. Oh, yeah. Pat. Pat, why? Oh, yeah. Pat, why does this look like a scene out of White Chicks? <laughs> I've seen the Link and Zelda had a cartoon a long time ago that was about this horrible looking. So. Yep. Luckily, this didn't shatter my soul that much, but that's that's bad. That it's like the things they play in school for you to interact with, right? Exactly, exactly. That's that's the type of animation that we got from this thing. Oh no! It's is there bad. a Mario one? Charlotte, this is like Charlotte Flair and Reese Witherspoon. Oh my goodness! Let me go. Let me go. Hotel Mario. That's let me see bad. what that looks like. <laughs> that is bad. But even though like Mario has hella games, so this is on brand for him. Hotel Mario, if he had like a like he has puzzle games and Dr. Mario, he has so many. Hotel, I think he's a snake. Hotel child. Mario? Is that a real thing? Hotel. Yeah, yeah. It's hotel, on the that's, list. that's what I'm about to do. That was CD that was a CDI game. That's what came that out on, game this on this. Uh, hotel Mario kind of sound fire though. Um it's it's not. It's not great. Oh not no. that. Just the concept alone sounds Oh yeah. Kind of fire. What's the it ain't no concept? No, it's pretty it's good. just a title. Let me go to Hotel Mario. A, a, a Mario Hotel? That'd be. Here we go. This is what it looked like. This is the gameplay for it. It's not great. This is not a hotel. No, this is. Why he look evil? Right? Mario looks sinister. He looks <laughs> vicious. <laughs> so does the Koopa. They kind of swole. They mad. Yeah. Like they sick of this shit. Hey. hey, Goombas are dummy tall, though. Right? They're never well, I mean they are taller than his uh small form, usually. Right. Um, but man. So wait, how did this work? They the Nintendo just sold them the licensing and they had to develop it themselves? Yes. They pretty much gave them the rights. And this is why Nintendo is so stringent on their their IPs now. Like now they don't let anyone touch it. After the Mario movie, after this, they're just like, you know what? It's just Y'all don't know what to do with our shit. In-house. Because it, it in-house. Those are like if they didn't have those, they would have very few L's if they didn't have outside people fucking with them. That's yep. very true. That's crazy. Nope. Yeah. So, I mean, I know I know we're talking about this, the Nintendo PlayStation, but I just want to let you know, like, Nintendo still tried with the whole CD-ROM thing beforehand, and then this is what we got. But, man, well, as seeing that, man, I am just really glad that the folks at Sony were just kind of like, hey, you know what? 
let's try this on our own. Let's take our thing and make it. And you know, who who would have thought though to go to Sony, try to get them to do something for you, and it's just like, ah, eh, this ain't working out, man. Y'all not doing what we want to. We we're good. We're gonna keep the gaming thing to us. And be like, all right, bet that. Not only yep. could you have not existed, but you exist and you have the top selling video game console of all time. Yeah. I mean, the P- I, I'm pretty sure the PS2 got that on lock. It do. Yeah, how, much did the prototype game, huh? how much did the prototype sell for? $360,000 was the was what this sold. Who had that sitting in their... Was that in, for in this? Was that in cash or yes. in? Like... What was that? Let me find. Let me get the actual document up for you guys. For uh, this? Then, for this? I mean, it is. It is a piece of video game history that we're probably I, I never seeing. I do get it because you'll never see this ever anywhere again. I feel like oh, you mean that was like a recent price. Yeah. No, it literally just sold um, March sixth of two thousand twenty. Oh, Heritage Auctions. Yeah, it says it at the bottom. For, yep. for three hundred and sixty thousand American dollars. Yep. I feel like this is Nintendo and Sony's like great chain. Like they wish this wasn't out. Hold on, let me go wow. ahead and Man, if you're, pull this up. If you're Nintendo or Sony, you go to that auction and you buy that shit back, bro. You don't even have that out there in the world. You don't let that right. just go. That's a part of your history, your legacy. Go get that. Oh, that's that's just bro. It was a CD and a cartridge. That's fire. And you got to pick which one? That yeah, we don't know. I don't bro. even know. Like, how did this work? There, there are videos of, the, of it working for sure. They, someone, oh, someone there's had. just one. That's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought there was like a couple test runs. Oh, here we go. That should be in a, a museum. Look. Yeah, it should. Okay, so this is the back of it. Nintendo yeah. PlayStation. Wow. This should be in a museum somewhere. You're right. Do right, you want to come over and play my, my Nintendo PlayStation? That sounds I, horrible. I super <laughs> good. You're yeah. saying it like you know, I got oh my Nintendo PlayStation. Man, I would I would <laughs> I would kick you in your shin every time you say that. That's just weird to think. Like, hey, can you hand me my Nintendo controller? I want to play some Tomb Raider. Like, what? Ew. <laughs> Stop. Man. Hand me my PlayStation so I can play Mario World. I gotta oh. beat this. Oh god. I like it. Let's go. I don't like it. We would have never got the yeah. classic controllers so we would have never got the the ps2 i'm i'm so happy that they split ways but at least they knew that they were going to be giants in gaming back that's then. true yeah so like hey to see what could have been right but i think this horrifying experience is a perfect way to end off the arcade tokens podcast so we want to thank everybody for tuning in who always are tuning in we really appreciate each and every one of y'all so make sure y'all check out our individual twitches patrick cloud cleo thomas Cathadius, as well as myself will Farrow, and the arcade tokens twitch as always we are the arcade tokens i am the anomaly will Farrow. cleo thomas aka mr slick live i'm patrick cloud and we will catch you next time